Good morning, it's Peter from Weymouth here. I run the Zip Media. You can find everything I do right underneath this video. And I'd leave a comment, uh, leave a like, and even subscribe, that would be great. Okay, today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to go on a walk, but this is part of Beep the Street, a scheme organized by Public Health Dorset uh, lottery funded and intelligent health that happens between the 3rd of October and the 14th of November 2018. So join me after the break. For the Beat the Street scheme you have to have the card that I've got mines right here and you have the map, the Weymouth and Portland map and I'm just Open it up for you if I can with one hand. There is the Portland map with all the sensors marked. I don't think I'll be doing the Portland one today. And this is the Weymouth map with all the points marked. I got my map and my card from Morrison supermarket here in Weymouth but you can get them from other places if you go to the website that I will include a link to under this video you will see where to get your cards if you want to take part it's great for school kids um, and let's go we are heading first for number 12 which isn't actually far from Zip Media Studios number 12 there so let's go with the filming It's a lovely morning here in Weymouth. I'm just walking down the path behind the studios towards the Dorchester Road now. <clears throat> Coming to an underpass under the road and we will uh, go down into the underpass and then take a sharp left turn into Mount Pleasant Avenue North. When I first came down here Mount Pleasant Avenue North and South were both connected by an unmetalled road and then the bypass cut them in half and um, here we go into the underpass around into the underpass I normally do walks out into the country but this walk is a little different because we are doing the beat the street so we'll come up these steps here They don't actually show this route on the map, they stick to the roads, but I just know this route um, because I guess I live here. <laughs> so we come back this way. Not many people come down this road now because it's a private road, it's a cul-de-sac nice houses on this side very quiet and 
one of my old friends used to live on this road. So we'll get down to the end of here and then I think you turn right and the sensor for the beat the street, the number 12 sensor is very near the school so we'll see how near it is and then I believe you just tap the sensor and then get onto the next sensor so we'll check where that is and walk to there and do the same I think I'll do about four this time so look at that chickens chickens in a household which is interesting so I think I'll do about three or four of these and then call it a day because there are a lot more and you'll have to investigate yourself but as I say you can find out more by clicking on the link that I will add to the Beat the Streets website uh, under this video in the descriptions box and you can maybe take part yourself or get your school to take part or your maybe your office maybe you sit around all day ah there is the entrance to the Radipole Wood it's a very nice place to walk uh, welcome to Radipole Wood protected woodland with native wildflowers maintained by volunteers please clean up after your dogs and keep help us keep the woods tidy the next working the next work day in the wood will be Saturday 6th, uh, 5th October from 10 a.m. work will include cleaning the pathways and pruning tools and equipment are provided if you'd like to help us just say hello we look forward to seeing you so let's get back onto the walk as I said in the intro to this I do other walks around Weymouth you can go back in my YouTube channel and see them there uh, we come to an obstruction it's moving now there we are there we are now we're coming to the main road here I think from here you take a right turn as you can see we are on Mount Pleasant Avenue North now that's interesting I wonder what that is if anybody has any idea what that is up there that's called Radipole Manor looks nice let me know in the comment section down below right okay we turn to the right and we walk back towards the Dorchester Road and I believe the beat the street sensor is somewhere up here on a lamp post the beat the street scheme started today it's been promoted in the local press and local radio for quite some time but it actually started today I see a green sign over the road uh, beat the street that could be the sensor on that lamppost right there let's cross and have a look yes there we are that's my first beat the street sensor right there play the walking and cycling game from 3rd of October 14th November pick up a beat the street card and go on an adventure across Weymouth and Portland Tap beat boxes like the one below to win points and prizes. There are more than 50 beat boxes across Weymouth and Portland. How many can you find? Go to beatthestreet.me. Uh, beatthestreet.me slash 
Weymouth and Portland. So let's tap the card and see what happens. Registered, there we go. Now on to the next one. Now where would the next one be? On the way to number 13 now. Sensor 13 should be around here somewhere. And there it is, I think. Right ahead of us there on that post, the end of the route post. So this is sensor 13. The map. Let me my card. There we are, I'm registered with 13. Now onward to 17. Can you see it on the map there? It's just down this, just down the main road. I'm turning into the main Dorchester Road now, making sure not to get run over because it will be a very short video otherwise. and the camera would go completely out of focus. I'm on the main Dorchester Road now, walking towards the next the street sensor. I believe they call them beat the street boxes. I just get on the geek. Over here. 
I think we should be coming to it fairly soon now. I am on the right route because on the map it said directly down Dorchester Road, which is the way I'm heading. video to give you some kind of feel of what this walking scheme is about. I walk everywhere, I don't actually drive anywhere. Um, and uh, I find I use public transport, of course, the buses and things, but I find that walking lets me see more, lets me experience more. Put your comments down there in the comment section of what you think. We should be getting somewhere fairly close now, I think, to the next beat the Beat the street box, beat the street centre, it should be somewhere down here. It doesn't give a side of the road that it's on, so at least you won't get lost if I show you where it is. I just wanted to give you a flavour of what the scheme is about. Ah, one of my contacts on Facebook, Stink I Art. He did me a fabulous, or well, did me a fabulous John Lennon. So, I exchanged one of my art pieces for one of his, which is really nice. This could be it. Yes, there we are. Beat the street. Okay, I've got those two. It's opposite the plan planet and the fish and chip shop here on Dorchester Road. So that's, let me see what that is now. So that's 12, 11, 13, 17 done. There are a lot more if you want to take part. I'll just do the number 23 and then head back home and edit this video.
the search for beatbox number 23 took me on to the promenade here in Weymouth here's where I am yes I'm coming onto the beachside promenade of Weymouth now I believe beatbox number 23 is somewhere here according to the map so let's have a walk and see if we can find it Here we have the uh, Merchant Navy dedicated to the men and women of the Merchant Navy and fishing fleets who gave their lives willingly for the freedom of others. They have no known graves but the sea. We will remember them. This memorial was created by Weymouth Portland and District Merchant Navy Association, unveiled on the 9th of November 2016 by Her Majesty's Lord Le Lieutenant Lieutenant of Dorset Angus Campbell Esquire, lest we forget in the shape of a boat. The book. It should be somewhere along here, I believe. what it's like here's another New Zealand they came from afar in the course of freedom Anzac troops have to move later moved from Dorset to action in Palestine on the western front the NZ onward I've finally found the the beatbox I was looking for, it's right there outside El Molo restaurant. So I'll tick this one off my list and then go home and edit the video. Okay, all registered. So that's it from another. Uh, video walk video here with something a little special so if you want to follow what else I do you can subscribe to my YouTube channel just click on the subscribe button up there and remember to hit the little bell icon so you can make sure you get everything I do on my video feed you can find video walks that I've done here in UK and also America Canada all over the place uh, I went to Niagara Falls I visited uh, Nikola Tesla's statue, so you can see that there too. So, uh, you can also click on the descriptions box beneath any video that I do and find out what else I do on my social media, on Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, Instagram, LinkedIn, all the big ones, so you can follow me on there if you want. So, subscribe, it's all free. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.